happened last year? They didn't get to do anything. So this is her senior year. She missed out a lot in her junior year. So it did not make it very nice. So what's happening today? Um, a little bit more socialization, which she lacked a bit last year. Um, it made her very upset and made her down. Like we went from having like 100 kids to like 50. Okay. Yeah. So they quit? Yeah, because of COVID. Because of COVID? And they couldn't march? So yeah. the 50, what did the 50 do? We tried to do as much as we could in, in person, but it was like pet band and not as much. Did you guys play at basketball games or anything? No, we still did football, but it was a lot less of us. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Danny Gleach. What school? Centennial High School. You're the band director? Yes. So uh, in 2020, uh, with COVID, how did that affect you? What did you guys do? We were not able to do a band camp. Uh, we were not even informed we would have marching band until the first week of school. So we put together a two hour rehearsal twice a week after school, because we were virtual. Um, the rehearsals were outside only. So we set up music stands, everything out in the parking lot, spread the kids out, and we put together basically a pep band for the football games. And so uh, we did that for about five weeks total, rehearsals, and then a couple football games. So that was the extent of marching band during uh, COVID in 2020. So, I mean, we lost students because students had to make choices and their parents, you know, with regard to safety. So, um, but this year, we've gotten some of them back. We're starting to get some momentum, but it just takes a little time to, to get things back. But we're excited to be here. Obviously, we didn't have this last year, the Invitational. So we're excited to have that back here this year. And uh, the kids are excited to play again together in March mm -hmm. and, you know, all that good stuff. So, you know, I did put out the all call to kids to sign up again this year that were in the building. I also reached out to the middle school feeders and recruited that way and sent them information uh, basically in the spring of last year about our band camp. And then over the summer, I made phone calls and emails to get all of our kids back here at band camp. So that, you know, that's kind of the... That's like kind of a very important part of what we do is recruiting, obviously. It's been a great year so far. I mean, it you guys are playing football games this year, right? Yeah, marching we've done a every bit. football game. Fortunately, we've so far been able to keep our band healthy. And um, uh, I know that there was, you know, it's been football teams, for example, that have had to forfeit games due to COVID spread. So we're fingers crossed. You know, we have three games left. So um, our band will be marching in the Veterans Day Parade too in November, downtown Columbus, and then also at the Circleville Pumpkin Show. So um, just a couple of additional performances. And that some of the other bands in the city also partake in. So.